All right, good morning everybody uh, here at Lazy Cream Farm. I wanted to kind of give you guys some updates and to let you know how things are going. Um, today's going to be a extremely hot day today. We got about uh, about 100 degrees. It's about 85 degrees right now and we're about 8 o'clock in the morning. And so um, it's going to be a doozy. Definitely Florida weather, that's for sure. So um, a couple of things I wanted to kind of show you guys is how do you know when your sweet corn's ready? Well, let me show you. So what you see here is the raccoons have told us that our sweet corn is ready. So what they do is they come on over and they will literally peel it back to start munching on it. So they'll snap off uh, the stalks there. You guys can see that and that. And uh, they will uh, munch away on our sweet corn. And so it's always a good way if you're not sure when your sweet corn is ready to uh, wait for the raccoons to come in and tell you when the sweet corn is ready. So yeah, so here it is. Um, they use their little paws and they go ahead and peel it back just like humans. And then they numble and nimble away um, at the corn. So just kind of a little tip and trick uh, for sweet corn. How do you know when it's ready? Well, when the raccoons decide to eat it. So, um, with that being said, uh, you know, it's never a dull moment here on the farm. There's always something that we're kind of dealing with. Um, right now we are coming to the end of our cucumbers. Um, our squash and zucchini are still going strong. And so we can show you that. Um, here's that bed of uh, squash around the left hand side. Um, they are still producing uh, quite a bit every day. We have had some bug damage from the squash bugs as well as from the potato and cucumber beetles. Uh, so those have been uh, active as well. And then we have uh, had our fare of zucchini. So we are constantly harvesting zucchini. Um, there is one right there, ready to go. Uh, so we'll have to trim him out and get him going here uh, so that we can eat them. They are constantly producing, and so they've been a huge, huge support for us here at the farm. Uh, we are coming to the end of our carrots. So we have just a couple of carrots left. Um, these guys um, are not ready yet. They're getting close, um, but they're just not ready yet. Uh, this one over here, uh, if we dig away a little bit here, you guys can kind of see here. Yeah, he's looking a little orange. He might be a little bit ready, but he's still pretty thin. So we're going to leave him be and let hope he thickens up a little bit um, so that we can get him to the market. So one of the things that uh, we are getting close to here is uh, planting for the fall. So we have started our plants for the fall. And actually, I wanted to show you something. Um, as I've mentioned before, we have had issues with green beans. For sure, without a doubt, right? We planted like three rows of green beans. We had zero come up. Um, and then we planned again, and then we had four come up. And so now we decided, well, let's try it one last time to see if maybe it was just a bad batch of seeds. And so in our green beans, let me show you here. You guys can see that yes, we did have a bad batch of green beans. And so they are coming up and they are looking mighty healthy. And so yes, we had a bad batch of green bean seeds, which, you know, happens. It's not the end of the world, um, but it is a lesson to be learned that if you try and try again and it still doesn't come up, it's probably the seed. All right, so next on the list in the rows, um, we have talked before about our uh, sweet potato vines. Uh, we took out our peas, our sugar snap peas, and so our sweet potato vines are expanding out. Um, we actually picked up the leaves and kind of moved them over here so that they would take over this area. Uh, and they've been doing pretty well. They've been doing pretty well. They've been growing out um, really far. Uh, actually, our peas was right here. So our sugar snap peas were right here. So you can see that the vines definitely have taken over, um, which is good. Um, they'll help with weed suppression and so forth and also shade the ground to keep the moisture in the ground Which was super helpful um, We are getting close to our potatoes 
And so this row, I believe, is the oldest row that we planted our potatoes in. You can kind of see they're yellowing. Um, we actually harvested our first potato last week. Um, the vine was just totally dead. And so when this completely dies out, um, we'll go ahead and dig underneath. And then we will hopefully find some potatoes. Um, we have lots that we'll be coming in to do. And so this is our oldest. And then we have our other rows as well. So we're really excited about our potatoes i love potatoes it's a you know it's a great food to eat you can throw it in everything um, and so that is hopefully going to be coming up we're hoping this week maybe next week um, but uh, you know you just kind of have to play the waiting game at that point so yes so these potatoes you can see they still have a lot of green in them um, they are not ready but as they die out as the stalk drops to the ground then yes they will be ready and then we've had some sweet corn. Now the raccoons uh, haven't gotten this far um, as bad as we think, but we do have some damage uh, right down there. They flopped a couple over the ground. Um, but we have had some of this uh, sweet corn. It is the Illini sweet, uh, super sweet, extra sweet. And so this is what it looks like. Um, now we won't go ahead and eat this one just because it's already been peeled um, You can see that the raccoons got to it and so um, but it is really tasty uh, We've had a couple so far uh, Boiling them and getting them ready and so it is sweet corn season. So got to eat it up, right? And then here's all of our other sweet corns that we uh, Have to deal with and have to check on a daily basis and it goes all the way down and so it's been uh, it's been good we're getting close uh, to start everything happening for the fall and so but today is just gonna be a really hot one and so we're trying to get everything done here in the morning um, so that we can kind of just lay low for the rest of the day and start planning for other rows to be planted as well all right, so I've moved on to the boxes and I wanted to kind of show you guys what's been going on in the boxes. Our raspberries have been growing tremendously. Uh, we've harvested quite a bit of raspberries this year, which has been really positive. Um, and so you guys can kind of see them over here. So we've harvested quite a few already and that's been great. Our blackberries are coming in strong. We have our uh, bunching onions which are almost ready they're getting pretty close here and then we have our first blackberries so really excited I love blackberries I think they're fantastic um, we also have some green peppers you can see that they are forming this one is mighty large and so that's um, gonna be great news for us and then we've started our boxes for the fall. So all these ones that are covered have something that we're going to plant in the fall. So I believe uh, this is going to be our spinach and lettuce um, beds. We also have some more sugar snap peas that we're going to do in these two beds, uh, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, those always pop up really quickly. Uh, we ended up buying uh, some seed tape uh, from one of the companies called Burpees and they have this basically tape and what it does is let me show you is it especially with carrot seeds it allows you to put in a straight line it's made of paper and you just lay it all the way down and so we decided to try it out to see how it looks and uh, I can tell you right now that we have more carrots than we've ever had in this one row of seed tape uh, and so we planted three rows of them and hopefully uh, we'll get some really good production out of it. They're automatically spaced, which is fantastic. Um, I don't think we're going to have to thin too much, but uh, you can kind of see the good old little carrot guys uh, coming up here. So really excited. Hopefully it works out for us. I'll keep you guys updated, um, but we're going to keep these covered for as long as possible so that the gopher doesn't get them. So let me cover that back up here for you guys. And we'll go from there. Um, so our green beans, the ones that did come up, we have three left. 
Uh, we had a fourth one, but it was cut by a, uh, a cutworm. And so it literally snapped over and snapped in half. And so our green beans have been coming in. Erica just harvested a whole bunch. Um, but these guys aren't ready yet. So we'll get those probably on Thursday or Friday after market and uh, get those for Saturday. So that's been going really good. For those of you that like cilantro, we have lots and lots of cilantro. We also have a wonderful basil forest as well, which is over there. So if any of you ever need basil and you need to make some pesto, uh, I've got enough to make probably a couple of gallons of it. So enjoy your look at our basil forest. And then always the always wonderful alyssum, which smells really good uh, and attracts all the nice little bees. Hi everyone, I wanted to show you my strawberry beds that have been overtaken by my marigolds. Um, so take a look here. I just wanted to show you because they're absolutely beautiful. I have been digging them up because as you can see here, my strawberries are sending out runners. So you can see this one over here has gone. I just took this marigold out so that that has some space. Um, but I wanted to make sure that we could get some new strawberry plants established um, and I didn't want um, my marigolds to 100% take over. So here's another one. I don't know if he'll survive because um, I had to dig right here um, next to him. So, um, but these marigolds are huge. They look like giant bushes and they're just absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to make sure you could see that. So what we've been doing is digging them up and you can see all the spots that I've dug. Um, and we've been potting them and selling them at the farmer's market. Um, Cause they're really nice and beautiful and orangey color. So see, this was a problem. My strawberries coming out <laughs> over the bin. So this is its own strawberry plant. And what it'll do is it'll root down into the soil and then next year we'll have more strawberries, um, which is exactly what we want. Um, but I didn't realize my marigolds would quite take over my beds like this. I've never seen bush like marigolds in my life. So um, beautiful, lots of buds. So I just wanted everybody to see that. And our little baby strawberry guys. <laughs> So obviously we can't um, not show all the flowers. And here are the sunflowers that came up in the wildflower mix that Erica has spread about. Um, we've had quite a few of sunflowers that come along with these. Um, so really can't complain here. You can see all the bugs on this sunflower. Look at all those guys. Unreal. But they love it. Um, and so we have, uh, this one's about to open. And then this one has already opened and it's already done. Um, and so we've had lots of sunflowers all around our garden box area over here. And then I wanted to talk about our new addition, our new pile that we added, which is our compost pile. Um, a local garden center has bulk compost and uh, we went ahead and bought two yards of it. Uh, we've already used quite a bit in all of the boxes that you see covered up. Um, so we put in about an inch topper on each one of those for fall planting. And so now we have our compost um, that's already finished and we are currently still working on making ours a little bit bigger and uh, turning it over from time to time and keeping it wet. So um, just wanted to share with you guys some of our updates with in regards to soil. All right, so here's the last of our onions. Um, they are drying and they're looking really good. And we got these from Farm and Fleet and I really just can't complain with these guys. Um, they've turned out exceptionally well. Um, they're really easy, really cheap, and uh, I'm glad that we did it. So definitely we're going to do more of these next year. Um, we tried to get the Spanish um, sweet onions, but... They apparently just didn't come in the mail, so we're not sure what happened there, but um, these have been a great backup uh, from Farm and Fleet and can't really complain. So that those are our onions. Um, now next year we're probably going to have three kinds of onions. We'll have the white, the red, and then the yellow as well. Um, but I wanted to also show you guys our cherry tomatoes. Um, it is a forest of tomatoes in there. And uh, we've been spending every day picking um, cherry tomatoes. 
and there are a ton of them and so they are quite prolific at this point and uh, we'll we'll be going to town on those um, I already harvested them earlier and so we'll go ahead and uh, keep our eye on those and make sure that we don't get any bugs or disease um, now next year I don't think we'll do six in a box um, as you can see it's created a pretty big jungle and uh, so my guess is we'll probably just do three uh, in each box and we'll just do more boxes as a result um, our broccoli has been coming in really good uh, we've harvested quite a bunch of broccoli off of our plants which people love it so we can't complain and so we have a nice head of broccoli there uh, we are now on to the side shoots so you'll see here that we've already cut one of the major stems um, and so we are on to side shoots now and uh, that's how it goes so like here you can see this was a side shoot um, from the main stem and that's great that's what you want from broccoli so and a lot of times people say that the side shoots taste better than the head uh, so I don't know yet I really couldn't tell you but uh, it all tastes good to me so that is our broccoli update um, and I think that's pretty much it for today's video so thank you guys for coming along and uh, seeing how we're doing uh, ups and downs as always we've got bugs we've got raccoons uh, we've got gophers uh, we've got it all so thank you guys again for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe see you next time